First reading, a reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 1 to 9. In the days of Ahaz, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, king of Judah, king Rezin of Aram, and king Pekah, son of Remalia of Israel, went up to attack Jerusalem, but could not mount an attack against it. When the house of David heard that Aram had allied itself with Ephraim, the heart of Ahaz and the heart of his people shook as the trees of the forest shake before the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son, Shir Jejub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway to the fuller's field, and say to him, Take heed, be quiet, do not fear, and do not let your heart be faint because of these two smoldering stumps of firebrands, because of the fierce anger of Rezin and Aram and the son of Remalia, because Aram with Ephraim and the son of Remalia has plotted evil against you, saying, Let us go up against Judah, and cut off Jerusalem, and conquer it for ourselves, and make the son of Tabil king in it. Therefore thus says the Lord of God, It shall not stand, and it shall not come to pass. For the head of Aram is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is risen. Within sixty-five years, Ephraim will be shattered, no longer a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is the son of Remalia. If you do not stand firm in faith, you shall not stand at all. The Word of the Lord the Lord be with you. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Then he began to reproach the cities in which most of his deeds of power had been done, because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tar and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth, and ashes. But I tell you, on the day of judgment it will be more tolerable for Ta and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to heads. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you that on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today the church commemorates Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In the Gospel passage today, we listen that Jesus curses two cities. There are four cities altogether, Chorazin and Bethsaida, and then Tyre and Sidon. Chorazin and Bethsaida are two Jewish cities. They had high schools of Jewish religion, but had not received the gospel. So Jesus says to these, these two towns, if the miracles happened in you or happened in Tyre and Sidon, those two cities are cursed by the prophets those two cities, Tyre and Sidon, would have been converted. Let us come back to our lives with regard to these four cities. There are many, many miracles in our lives which has happened. Mostly we might not have realized. We have, we are living our day-to-day -day life. We pray, but do we realize how God has guided me throughout my life. Where are the places God had guided me from 
perhaps danger of death, from sickness to a healing. There are many, many moments we might have not realized or even experienced but have forgotten or not even be, be thankful. There are many experiences, God experience in our lives. If only we could stop and reflect about our lives. If we look back and see about our past, how it was and many places where God has intervened into our history, into my own history and changed it and I am who I am now, you will always see the wonders of the Lord. But the question is, have I realized those, those miracles, those God experience in my life so that I have changed my life? Most of us, we experience miracles and we are thankful for God. We are thankful to God for intervening into my lives. But changing my life to be a better person than who I was yesterday, that happens very rarely. There is a place that we go wrong. That is a mistake in our lives. Whenever we experience God, dear friends, that moment we, our lives should change, must change. That is what has happened to many saints. They have realized their experience in God experience in their lives and their lives changed drastically. Saint Augustine, Saint Benedict, Saint Bernard, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, Saint Francis. So therefore, our lives also could be a saintly life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have experienced your loving care, your guidance in our lives day in and day out. Help us to realize and also to be thankful to your intervention. At the same time, send us your Holy Spirit so that we may change our lives, our living patterns and convert our lives so that our lives will be pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.